What's going on guys, Alpha the Wizard back at it with another video. Today we have me, Alpha the Wizard, versus Fonte. This is a Dragon Riders tournament match. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop in. Um, you can also check out their Facebook page, link down below in the description. Without further ado, oh, it looks like we have a tie. And <laughs> up, sorry, Fonte. Uh, too many replays today. Uh, one, the rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Decides to go first. I start off with Solic, Heartbeat, Hobness, Planet, Talents. He has Merrily, Drewsworm, Scream, Mudora. Okay, so pretty decent hand from both sides. Alright, so he's going to start off with Scream. And then he's just going to normal summon Merrily. I feel like, to be quite honest, I probably would have started with Sheeran pitch Mudora first, just to get a shuffler. But I mean, this does play around Hobnus. He gets to a Sheeran, then he's playing into Hobnus really bad, and then he's relying on milling a shuffler. But anyway, so that's what I would have done in this situation. Early one, scream two. Okay. So he did hit some good stuff. He hit a Hobnus and a Kelbeck and a Sornir. So even if he doesn't Kelbeck, he can chain block. Hobnus. So then he goes Hobnus effects. Shuffle back that and merrily to make a kit. And now he plays in a Hobnus. So we go ahead and chain the Hobnus. Summon out, and we hit our own Kelbeck and a Hobnus. So that's kind of clean, mainly because he has a Druus Worm. He definitely should have pitched Mudora first, though, because now he has no Shufflers, and I'm just going to be able to do my thing here. Any triggers is player Pryo, because turn player is going to have priority for any trigger effects before I get to trigger my Hobnus. Okay, so no trigger effects. So now we're going to declare Hobnus and Kelbeck. We're going second, so there's no reason we shouldn't mill five because we want to like recur more advantage than our opponent. So it's like, yeah, they do run the risk of hitting shufflers or um, tier names themselves, but he's already down one tier name, and we still have all three. So it just makes sense. So Druus Worm targeting the Hobnus, which we knew a Bestial was a good possibility. And the worst case scenario is when they hit Solik because that just gives them a free card. But in the retrospect, if I hit a Solik too, it's just like pretty pretty good as well. So he's just triggering Solik, not Sornir or Merrily. That's very interesting. And we did hit a Merrily and a Shuffler ourselves. So yeah, he's going to trigger Solik, Merrily, Rhino, and then he's going to go Keld... Oh, wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. He just activated Solik, and we declared Merrily and Rhino, and he's chaining his Keldo. And then we just chain our Mudora, put back some of his stuff. We want him to brick, and we want his tier names to not be in the grave, to limit his possibility of doing a lot, like a Kaleido Heart. Okay. Honestly, guys, I hate it when people do this. Like, when they put him in the spell and trap zone, it's just so confusing. Just put it in the chat and shuffle him back. Like, it's too much work to do what he's doing. So yeah, we go ahead and put those back. He adds a Hobnus, like cool, it's fine. And then he's just gonna go ho uh, Kit Effect target herself, summon out Rhino Heart, Kit Chain Link 2, which is fine. All right, so yeah, he hit a lot of names here. Um, Merrily. Sheeran, Heartbeat on Solik, that's pretty good. We almost would have been better off not burning our Shuffler so soon, but then he could have just used his to bait ours. But then we could have shuffled back more cards. Okay, so he makes a Rukalos here. 
and a Garura. Yep, and now he's just going to a Beatrice play. Um, so this can be a little hit or miss, but when you know your opponent's on tier, uh, I don't know about anybody else, but I know me, I found that putting Beatrice in attack mode is way too important, I feel like. Putting it in defense mode is like okay if it's game one and you don't know what your opponent's playing, but I feel like if you're playing against tier, like, unless they like bestial you, because yeah, they could just go to battle and beat over the Beatrice and bait it out, but you're forcing them to um, play a bestial on their turn, like if they draw one, um, but also them just simply being able to attack into a Beatrice like an XYZ is battled. So now they have all their resources in the world to try to get to a Zeus. Now he's just going to go ahead and go Beatrice. Dump Scream. Guru 1, Scream 2. Search Crimes. Guru is 1, so we don't draw the crime. Draws into another Havness. Sharon Effects. He already used all his tier names. Um, the only reason really to do that is to get the Dweller. Otherwise, you don't really want to mill if you already have sh a lot of Shufflers. But yeah, he does have quite a lot here. Set Solix, set Crime, pass turn. Draw phase, he's going to go ahead and Dweller me. We say that's okay. We're just going to try. Um, let's fire off Planet. Best case scenario is that we can get to a Dweller, but then he has Solik. So we go Merrily Effects. Don't hit anything, doesn't matter anyway, because a Dweller, we just go ahead and make a Dark. Dark Effect to take. He's gonna chain Rukalos, sending herself. He could have also sent Scream too. Um, he didn't even activate Scream this turn. I definitely would have activated it on, on one of the summons, but. Um, yeah, on Summon of Merrily, I probably would have Scream effect. Uh, heartbeat, Shuffle back, and we did hit the Solik, but it's just not realistic. We're trying to take his Dweller so that we can make our own Zeus with his Dweller. But it's just not going to work. Um, okay, so now he just makes a kit. And considering he has a lot of tier names, he could just dump a Rhino Heart here and then just go into a Kaleido, and that's just game. We, we recognize it was game. Number two, we are going to see me, Alpha the Wizard, decide to go first. Opening hand, we have Super Poly, Scream, Udora, Keldo, Solik. The opponent has Kelbeck. Talents, Rhino, Magnuma, and Mudora. So a very weak hand for us because we don't see any tier names. We just see a Shizu plays. So Keldo, Pitch, Mudora. That's the only real thing we can do here is just to get two Shufflers live and maybe a Dweller and then Normal Summon Kelbeck. There is an argument that we could have just not Dwellered and we just set Super Poly with Kelbeck in hand. Um, that was also what I was considering, but I was also thinking like, you know, putting them under Dweller and then maybe super polying like two of their tiers is very powerful. And um, yeah, we go ahead and decide to set Solik just in case we're able to pull that play off. So now the opponent, uh, draw phase, we're going to go ahead and Dweller. Our hand is very weak though. There's no way we win this game, right? So, yeah, activate Mudora, pitching Kelbeck. He summons Mudora, summon Rhino. Big thing. Uh, he's dump Havnus, chain Super Poly. We probably could have waited on the Super Poly, let's be honest. But we do risk him making a Kaleido Heart. Like, I mean, I guess he can't get to it here, but we don't know our opponent's hand. If he goes hard into Kaleido Heart, then we just auto lose right like i'm pretty sure or wait no sorry he's under dweller i'm tripping okay so yeah we wanted to stop him from getting to his own dweller because he does have player prio to activate quick effects so now he just goes magnuma battle phase beat over mudora 
Now, even with a weak hand, like our hand isn't that, I mean, our hand, um, the game state isn't like super terrible, I guess. I mean, it is kind of bad considering he has two bestials and then he's like way up on card advantage, but yeah, Keldo is not going to cut it. We just pass turn. Battle phase, attack, attack, attack. And we're just going to take all this damage and then just pray for a miracle. If we saw a Kelbeck right here, this would actually be crazy. Um, just kidding. He made Dweller. Draw for turn. That's a Merrily. Pass Pryo. He doesn't activate Dweller. So we go ahead and Merrily effect. He's going to chain Dweller. And this is super good for us because he definitely misplayed. He should have did this in draw phase. What was the reason not to do it in draw phase? Like, it just didn't make sense not to dwell her in draw phase. Because now, he's risking we have Solik face down. And Solik plus any tier means your dweller is just turned off. Like, in this instance, we get the mill. I don't think it's going to matter because he has double bestial. But now, we get the chain Solik sending the Merrily. And now, we can't even bestial us. But it's just unfortunate that we don't have enough things to fuse with we just have two tier names and maybe a druus worm mud dragon yeah like it's just not looking good for us <laughs> let's put it that way so merrily one sheeran two kelbeck three so maybe kelbeck can get us there but then our opponent hits two tier names and a shuffler two shufflers two keldos okay so our mills were decent decent so we make our own kit, put back Merrily, Mud Dragon, that's going to make Drago Sepalia. And just like that, we're like not in <laughs> a terrible spot, but we're still in a losing position. So now he's going to go Merrily and Sheeran. He, I said, wait a sec, kit's one because <laughs> I'm turn player. And then I just chain Mudora to shuffle back his stuff. He's chaining his Keldo. And then I chain my Keldo. Was, did I need to, yeah, he had too many tier names and too many shufflers. Two Keldos, two tier names, that's four. Yeah, we had to use both there. Okay, let's put back. All right, all right. Um, I'm trying to figure out if there's actually a way out of this. We do have Solik plus Kit. It's kind of nice. We get to add Sheeran off of Kit. Then we just go Sheeran effect, but we did use all our Shufflers, so all his Bestials are going to resolve. Ooh, and we hit a Havnus. That would be super good if he didn't have Bestials. Goes Druus Worm. Uh, we don't have any Tears in Grave either, so Kit's just going to be chilling here. Battle, beat over Dweller, and then main phase two. There is an argument that we could have just beat over the Druze Worm, right? Or wait, no, we couldn't. We had to attack with Drago. Okay. All right, he draws a Hovness. His hand is pretty bad, but Magnum just gets him far, though. Yeah, because Magma just gets another bestial, and now he gets to a Beatrice. But so yeah, we feel like we're forced to Medora here because it's like we kind of have to. We don't want him to get to Beatrice. Beatrice can also equal Zeus plus any dump. So it's like very scary. Kit plus Zeus is scary. Like that's just yeah, it's not okay. We had to do it there. He's going to go Talons to take. We chain Drago to turn this to a level 1. That way we don't get Beatrice. We were scared of Beatrice the most. So we're going to chain Solik. That way we avoid him taking our kit. And he's going to go ahead and take the Drago. He's going to go Sheeran. And I just go kit. And we had to use our shuffler, so yeah, that's going to resolve 100%.
and we didn't hit that crazy we did hit a scream and a guido but nothing's that gonna really nothing's really gonna progress our game state let's be honest so he's using our drago to make his drago the disrespect that's crazy so we go scream agito i'm pretty sure he used all his names right no he still has some names okay yeah and then we just scoop because we realized like we know he has magnum in hand even though this is level one um he just has way too much and there's just really no way for us to come back here because i mean he can just get to a dark play dark take our kit i mean we could shuffle back but then we're just still in a bad spot he can bait our shufflers like really easy and then he gets to a sprint play um but yeah so we just scoop prematurely and um yeah so that's the end of the match um you did see fonte end up uh getting me in this one i did get him in the last video so you know we got the run back um probably for like the third or fourth time now um but yep so that's the end of the match make sure you drop a like comment subscribe down below for more content and i will see you in the next one